Hello friends and welcome to the show. My name is Nikon and on this uh, channel um, I share with you everything I know about uh, filmmaking, uh, uh, video production, acting and uh, little tricks like today. Today we're going to talk about how do you fix the issue when connecting your Google Chromecast to your 8 and Mini. Normally you will see an error or actually a black screen. So how do you fix that? Today we're going to talk about that. So let's go. Very good to see you on this channel. So, um, three things. Google Chromecast, a good splitter, and Ata Mini makes miracles because you can use it to showcase your work and you can actually make your workflow so much easier. Um, I wanted to uh, buy um, the, the Google Chromecast uh, in order to um, spare my uh, screen. So what I mean, for example, obviously you know that you are using ATEM and when you're using ATEM, for instance, let's say you want to use your uh, desktop screen. So going on a desktop screen, uh, you know you want to show something here or you want to show something there. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, sometimes you want to show your face somewhere around here, let's say like that. Um, but, but, but also, you know, um, most of the time you need another screen or another player, let's say, if you want to showcase some videos, for instance, you know, and Google Chromecast is a good solution to have like a separate monitor. But the problem with the Chromecast is that when you insert it in your ATEM Mini, it actually doesn't show anything and uh, and this is because it has a, a, a protocol which is HDCP. HDCP stands for High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection. It's a coding scheme developed by Intel used to protect audio and video signals traveling through DVI, HDMI and display port from being copied and illegally intercepted during a streaming session. Well, obviously we are not here to record shows from Netflix or anywhere. Uh, we are here to um, showcase our work or to have a video looping, you know, to make uh, your streaming or your video recording much more interesting. Or let's say you have an event and you want to um, show some uh, video playing of the family or the couple or maybe you have a wedding i don't know you have uh, you can find uh, different uh, uh, scenarios uh, for that uh, so we're not trying to do anything illegally here but chromecast uh, recognizes that you are trying to insert it into a recorder and it uh, automatically blocks the signal and uh, let me actually show you that this chromecast is working it's good it's functional and it works on my tv I need to change the port on my TV. You see, HDMI 2 just appeared. And you'll see what is going to happen. So, once connected, okay, you see the Google Chromecast connected. And you see there on the right top um, corner, there is the TP Link E49. It's my Wi Fi. Um, network basically and it's connected automatically because i already set it up and you see it's working i try to cast this tab over here i just go to the screen here double tap with two fingers i'm on my uh, i'm on a mac so i go to cast and it asks me whole tv available connecting so when i go to camera six again uh, you will see that actually this is my Chrome tab over here. And what I like about the Chromecast is that, you know, it doesn't show you uh, the, the bar, uh, the top bar uh, of the browser, which is amazing. You see, now I change to my desktop and you see you see everything here. You've got the, the, the hour, you, you've got the, all the tabs. Um, but when I move to my um, camera 6 here on the Chromecast, you see it's all clean. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back again to my ATEM preview screen so I know what's going on. Um, so basically now I'm going to go and remove it from there and I'm going to show you how to install it uh, onto your 
uh, ATEM and how is it working? All right, so here I am. Um, I should have told you actually what's in the box, but what's in the box of the Google Chrome is basically <laughs> just Google Chrome and just the power cable. Uh, yeah, it's, it needs to be powered, otherwise it won't work. So let's leave my splitter on the side and let's see what is going to happen when we connect our Chromecast to ATEM. I've got an empty port here on 7, right? So let me insert it into the HDMI port, uh, right? You see, I've got a, a computer desk here, so I hide it there, so I keep my desk clean. It's connected, but you see, nothing is happening because I need to power it on. So what I do, I've got a desktop computer here with a lot of ports at the front, so I just insert it somewhere there. Okay. Okay. So you see, it's powered on. Let's wait. Let's wait for the white uh, light to appear. Okay. The little white light is on, and if we check the monitor, all right, something is going on. It's all right. We had the Google sign, and that's it. And you need to be smart. You need to be clever. You need a splitter in order to fix this issue. And I heard online they were saying, a lot of people were saying that actually this thing's up, they, they cost hundreds of, of dollars. And some of them actually, they didn't really work. But I was quite fortunate uh, to, to go on Amazon and find this little piece here, which is really, really good. It's called ESCO. Well, this, this is actually the name tells tells us everything is splitter. It splits this HDMI signal into two different ports. And you see there on, on, on the top, uh, here it's um, HDMI 2.0 compatible HDR. Um, it has a scaler inside that uh, transforms the 4K signal to 1080p. And uh, exactly what we are interested in with the HDCP 2.2. So 2.2 actually is the last um, version of uh, the content uh, protection uh, protocol. So you need to get the 2.2 if you want it to work with um, uh, the, <clears throat> the Chromecast. On this side, we have uh, two uh, HDMI ports, HDMI out one, HDMI out two and we have a scaler which is off obviously because i don't need the scaler for my setup um, because actually the atem does all the work it uh, um, scales all the four cameras i mean everything and the, the the bit rate and the frame rates and everything okay on the other side we have hdmi in we have a power cable that you need to connect it usb uh, and ADID. So I keep it at uh, copy one. There is uh, another um, option here 4K 5.1 and 4K 7.1. Anyway, I keep it at copy one, it works. And actually, if you turn it around, on this side, you see all the settings that uh, will, will work for you. So we are using copy one, which is learning EDID from HDMI out one. So what are we gonna do now? Uh, what we need to do is to get the um, Chromecast into HDMI in and then get the si signal out uh, um, through either HDMI out um, one or HDMI out two. It doesn't really matter and we need to power it on uh, from here. So, all right, let's do it. Okay, so we get the signal that something is connected. So now what we have to do, we need to connect um, the HDMI uh, out, the HDMI out one. We need to connect it here to the ATEM Mini. Here's our cable, camera eight. Oh, straight away, straight away. Did you see that? Here we are, there's the magic. On camera eight, we've got signal, fantastic. I, I, I'm extremely happy. I'm extremely excited that it actually works. Um, and and I've proved you that. And if I actually press eight, I've got my Chromecast. And now I can go to my computer. You see, here is the tab. 
Uh, here's my IMDb page. So if I go now and I try to cast it, I go to cast, it shows me that the whole TV is available. And now on my port number eight, here it is. Here we have our um, um, Google Chrome tab casting on ATEM. This is unbelievable. So what is cool about this is that um, now I'm on port four, which is my uh, monitor. And uh, you see, you can see everything. Um, but if I go to camera eight is only the tab. I hope you really enjoyed this uh, video and I hope to see you again soon. And um, um, yeah, this is a real bargain. I'm not sure about the H the, the ATEMs, like the old ones. Maybe they maybe they work straight away with the Chromecast. I'm not sure about that, but with the you know, with the ATEM uh, Extreme ISO, it definitely Chromecast doesn't work. I hope you found this video interesting and uh, yeah, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're interested in more stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next one. All the best. Take care. Cheers. Bye bye.